Yo, what's up guys, Tiversman here back with another video and today guys, I'm going to be talking about how to build a chatbot that can qualify leads and pretty much get to a point where businesses can actually benefit a return on investment, right? Because if a chatbot can qualify a lead and that lead can be generated to an actual sale, you make that business money, right? We're not here to sell customer service chatbots, we're here to sell businesses, chatbots that can make the money and save them time. Right. So again, we have our first workshop on September 5th. If you guys want to stay tuned for that, check out my discord for more information. The discord is completely free. It'll be in the description below. And um, yeah, we're going to be using Stack AI for this video. Stack AI is completely free as well. You can start off with the free plan. And um, yeah, it's going to get into this. So we're going to start off with Stack AI right here. And pretty much what we're going to do is going to start off with our lar large language model. So if you go to the LMs right here, we're going to open up AP open API. And yet, again, it is today's my birthday today. I'm sorry if I'm starting a lot. I'm really tired, but um, it is my birthday today at uh, pretty much September 2nd, 2023. And we're gonna use GPT-4 and we're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much edit the system prompting because the system prompting is very uh, important in terms of our um, personality of our chatbot. So whatever chatbot that you're creating, the system has to be curated to whatever business you're doing. If you're doing a, let's say, car dealership business, you have to customly code the system prompting to that dealership. So let's say you are a sales representative of this car dealership, or you are a sales representative of this uh, medical agency. So whatever system that you're doing, it has to replicate the business that you're doing. So let's just say Brahm in Miami. We're gonna go ahead and use this company, and we're gonna go ahead and copy this uh, personality. So let's say, you, sorry, I'm gonna zoom in. I got for you guys. Hold on. Uh, there you go. You are a sales representative for Brahmin Miami. Right there. Your goal is to sell customers' cars and help them find more inform. Sorry, find more. Find more information bro i can't bro what is wrong with my keyboard bro hold on guys sorry make sure you also add you need to handle objections because remember you're coding the custom personality of this this large language model right this large language model is not going to be coded on a very generalized uh understanding it's going to be coded exactly to how you prompt it so you have to say you need to handle objections you need to handle digressions and you need to get this customer to buy this car or whatever they need to buy uh, depending on your uh, business that you're doing right sorry about that information on cars and let's say you must handle objections and digressions and your goal is to get the client to buy the car again this is a generalized subject so you can apply this to any other kind of business and the prompting is pretty much the instructions of what the bot needs to do. And we're going to get to that after we add all of the notes, right? So we're going to go ahead and add a offline data loader. I'm pretty sure you guys can use it with the free version as well. URLs plus search. We're going to drag that there. And we're going to drag Brown and Miami right there. Make sure you guys click scrape plus AP5 because AP5 pretty much scrapes all the sub data information and it inputs it into the uh, node database and it re relays that to the large language model which allows it to scrape more information and get more info in terms of cars and other information that it wouldn't do on a base scrape, right? So we're gonna click add, let that load and we're gonna go ahead and drag this to our input query right here and drag this to right there, to the large language model, drag the completion to our output and there we go. Now we're gonna have to do the prompting, right? So answer the following question for input zero which is gonna be our basic chatbot uh, conversational uh, input. And we're gonna let that load. Um, sometimes Stack AI does load a little bit slow because it does have a lot of uh, pretty much, you know, a lot of overload of data because a lot of members on it. And uh, we're gonna let that load right now. So I'll be right back guys. All right guys, so it did say learn. And now we're gonna do is we're gonna go answer the following question. That's gonna stay the same. And we're gonna say use, all right use a URL M so pretty much yours plus search we're gonna use use your M plus uh, I'm gonna say use this as a contextual 
database for knowledge on the business you work for right and now we're gonna pull up our data scraper so we're gonna go into scrape cars so the information can be relayed back to the user if they want to find a car like say a g63 mg or bmw whatever they need to find it's going to be relayed back to them so we're going to go do that right now again we're going to browse the ii uh or log in right there uh, i gotta log in <laughs> hold on guys all right now we're logged in if you guys see my my previous video you know how this works it's pretty simple you literally just click build new bot uh construct stru structure data uh and we're going to, want to copy we're gonna go to pre uh, pre owned inventory. Uh, let's just say exotic pre owned inventory. Oh wow, an inventor. I would love to have an inventor. That'd be lit. We're gonna copy this uh, link. We're gonna go here, paste the link right here. Click start recording task. And now what we're doing is we're scraping the manual database. What you would need to do is scrape the live API endpoints. You can call the information live, but we're gonna be doing this through a manual process. So we can give you an example of how this would work. So you click OK, understand, click this, click capture list, and then you just, bro, hold on, I gotta click not now. All right, capture list, and boom, right there. And now we're gonna capture all the key value objects. So we're gonna capture our title, we're gonna capture um, another title, <laughs> and uh, we'll click uh, capture visible text, and we're gonna click it again, and make sure we capture the link, because that's important. Capture our price. Uh, we're gonna capture all the pretty much features of the, the car as well and um, I think that's really it and we can uh, capture the we can capture this as well so the price the pretty much person purchase option and then we're gonna click enter to finish we're gonna say car title and then we're gonna say uh, car name um, car name link and then we're gonna say price car price and we're gonna say car features and again this is a uh, literally applies to any general business and then we say car CTA which means car to action and we'll just do 10 and we're gonna say car list or excuse me capture lips and now we're gonna click finish recording and that's gonna do all this and uh, we're gonna click save and we're gonna load the slow so we'll be right back guys and now we're gonna go ahead and do is click download CSV we're gonna click save Go back to our stack AI. And then now we're gonna go ahead and do is add the offline database. Remember, if this is live, you do API and you do a get call to the API endpoint. So we're gonna click docs plus search. We're gonna add this to our input query right here and then add this to the large language model. Click upload and then we're gonna click right there. Now we're gonna go ahead and say scrape doc for real uh, car dealers or cars depending on the user's input whatever they want you will give them the information with um, URL links and also the car features and more and click Save and I don't know why it didn't add sometimes uh, stack AI can be a little weird like to learn and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and uh, add in when it's done. Oh, it's already done, all right. So yeah, now we're done, we're gonna go ahead and click publish. So we can actually, oh, maybe sh make sure you guys go to settings and uh, turn on memory so it can actually be a chatable <laughs> chat bot. And we're gonna say hello and um, let's see if it works. We're gonna test out our newly built chat bot for any business. This can literally be applied to uh, medical businesses, car dealerships, real estate agencies, whatever you need to have it, you can do the same thing. We're gonna to talk to the chat and uh, see what it says. So we're gonna go and pause it. <sighs> Look at that. I mean, look at that, guys. Right then and there, we get live data, live data, okay? Live data, Lamborghini Aventador S, okay? Right there. Rolls Royce Phantom, if we click that link, what happens? We get, guys, if you can provide this to businesses, 
you will make them so much money and you will make yourself as an agency so much money provide value and you get value back look at that come in all right so we go ahead and click download csv all right we have it right there and we're gonna go back to stack ai and look at that guys i mean just look at that and we built this in what 10 minutes so it's like imagine we could build in weeks and months so yeah guys i really do believe stack ai is a very powerful project you can use flow eyes but even with flow eyes you're gonna have to use uh personal hosting and so i mean look at that guys you know give us links with clickable uh data and um yeah guys and you can apply this to any other business whether it's you know uh medical businesses chiropractors uh dentist whatever you can do it with any other business and help qualify leads if you can help qualify leads for businesses and make the money on sales while automating the processes that is ex immense value it's it's immense and it's extreme value so i mean that's really it guys it's very simple as that i mean look how quickly we built this bot you know imagine what you could do in months or weeks so i want to give you guys this uh quick uh informational video and help you guys out i mean that's really it you know and um let's say i want to get more info on the third option what else can you tell me about the lamborghini and right here on this question right here what you would do is you would add a google serve api node and let use that node as contextual knowledge database to be able to source more information on whatever car they need because you can use google to search up more information on like terms of like um, previous history events with that car and use that as more uh, contextual evidence for the user to be like oh yeah this is a good car for my what i want to buy so we enter and it's probably not going to give us uh as much information as it can because it its entire knowledge base is just this website so it doesn't really have that much as that i mean and look at that <laughs> and it just absolutely disproves everything i say so it's it's still amazing so guys i showed a real estate and now i'm showing you guys a car dealership so it works for any other kind of business so i mean the mind is yours the reality is yours you can do whatever you want with this stuff so yeah i mean look at that right there the Aventador S Coupe isn't known as for its gruff is its aggressive design, high performance, and luxurious interior. There you go, guys. So we want to leverage large language models and generative technology over natural language processing and natural language understanding, and get more, you know, open database, open domain, and go crazy, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you can take this information and apply it to any other business and provide value, guys, because that's what we're here for. And I love you all so much. Sorry for all the noise in the background. Again, it is my birthday. So a lot of people are like loud and celebrating. And uh, I should be out there right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And first workshop is on September 5th. I hope you guys are there. And I'll see you guys later. See you guys later.